Subscriber alert, subscriber alert. Your friendly neighborhood YouTubers rated A for awesome. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thank you, and you're welcome. Enjoy. What's up, everyone? Welcome back to the show. It's your friendly neighborhood YouTuber, guys, and here we are, back with another action figure review. All right, so we're going to be taking a look at this guy right here. Uh, it is the Chaos Space Marine. He has been out for a while, but I wanted to pick him up because I was so, so satisfied with this guy right here. Um, and I just needed somebody to come, you know, complete him you know you complete me i complete you <laughs> no you complete me <laughs> i just needed somebody to compliment him that's what i meant to say um so i want to take a closer look at this guy i've had a few warhammer figures i've sold a few warhammer figures off i do own a few warhammer figures but let me tell you something guys these figures are really growing on me i really i really am digging some of these figures so let's go ahead and take him out the box. And like I said, he's been out for a while, so if you guys are tuned in here today with me, I just want to say thank you. And yes, we're, we are going to do some comparisons as well. So let's take this out. And if you're wondering, it is from McFarlane Toys, Warhammer 40K, Chaos Space Marine. Love it, love it. Let me know, guys, in the comment section, have you played this game? And do you like this game? Um, you know what? Let's jump forward to him already out of the package, and we'll take a closer look. Okay, so here is the Chaos Space Marine out of package. And he is definitely much more smaller than I thought he would be. <laughs> That's what she said. <laughs> Wait a minute. Um, yeah, I like him. I like him. He's a little bulky. Um, so he does come with, before we take a look, a closer look at Chaos... Uh, he does come with this backpack right here, which is really, really dope. I wish it was painted, but it is a dark, like, black backpack. Kind of like a hover, maybe like a hovering backpack craft. And then he comes with this awesome weapon. That's one thing I like about Warhammer is they have these awesome, awesome freaking weapons. And then he comes with this blade right here, which is pretty damn cool, I have to admit, man. It looks really good. All right, let's take a closer look at Chaos Space Marine in... I like him, bro. I like the face. The face is done really, really nicely. Bring my camera up just a little bit. Yeah, the face is done really, really nicely. I love the horns right here. If you guys know anything about this character, let me know because I don't, I don't know anything about him. So he just has a head swivel, and that's about it. He can't really get his head to look down. It's just kind of on a swivel. Kind of like the old school toys back in the day, which we used to play with. Torso swivel. Bend. And then his arms do lift up. Uh, somewhat. They are hindered by his big uh, armored shield right there. Which are, is actually done very, very nicely, I have to admit. And then there's the side right there, the other side. So yeah, his articulation is pretty horrible. Uh, 90 degree bend in his elbows. Um, let's see, you saw him kick out that much. Because it's kind of hindered by his design right there. As you guys can see, it's hitting his belt. I guess if you move that up, you can move it up, maybe. No, not so much. This one you can. Or maybe you can. I mean, yeah, if you... Yeah, that's about as far as he goes. Let's see, knee bend. Double, jo double joint and knees, that's really good. He can kick up that much. So, yeah, I mean, for... I mean, listen, this, this is what ex is expected from the bulky characters, big bulky characters. You're not going to get much articulation. Regardless of which toy company company it is, you're always going to get... You're always going to have some kind of, like, articulation that's going to be hindered by its design. 
simple, simply, simply because they're big and bulky, you know what I mean? That's what happens, you know, when you're a chubby dude, you have limited articulation. <laughs> As opposed to when you're really, really skinny. Hence, Spider-Man. Skinny and athletic. Um, yeah, I like him. But here's my only problem. Let me see. So... Okay. So his knife would go in there. He wouldn't. He can hold his knife. He doesn't have two holding hands. He has one open hand, which I don't really care too much for. Um, so he can hold the knife at one time, but you don't want him holding a knife because you got this right here that you can place right in there to hold his weapon. Um, and then you have his gun right here. Of course you want him holding the gun. Let's see how he looks holding the gun. And his fingers are rubberized if you are wondering. Get in there. He holds the weapon pretty decently. Nice, pretty decently. I like that a lot. Nice weapon. And then we'll put on his backpack like so. And it just pegs in there like so. There's the backpack on his back. Hence the name backpack. <laughs> this guy is really, really cool, man. I love the design too, if you guys didn't see that. I love all the, you know, gold skull designs. Really, really cool. And all the designs overall gold. I kind of wish this was gold as well. But overall, very, very nice. The green belt, right there, green grenade. Just an overall great looking figure. Um, let's get him to stand up straight. Let's do a measurement and then we'll do some comparisons in a moment, ladies and gentlemen. So Chaos stands about seven inches. That's about right, about seven inches, seven inches. Seven inches, so this is my last, one of my last reviews of I I thought this guy's name was Dark Tide, but obviously that's the name of the damn video game. And you guys corrected me in the comments, so thank you for that. Uh, this is Ogren 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 right here from 40k, and yeah, they complement each other really really nicely, bro. This figure is dope as hell. If you don't have him, pick him up, man. See how the black and gold go very well together. I'm guessing they they have to be bad guys, right? Dope. Love that freaking figure. Um, how about, <laughs> speaking of 7-inch here's Batman, yeah, he's pretty small, well, in size comparison with this Batman, right there, this is Duke Thomas, how about another awesome looking figure, Manga Spawn, look at that, look at that, bro, they're going to battle, man, they are going to battle, love this Manga Spawn, this guy is very slept on, if you don't have him, get him. Get that manga spawn. Um, and then one of the last figures I reviewed of Yosaki Yojimbo. Five and a half inch figure. Really dope figure. Okay, guys, let me go ahead and give you my rating. Um, I really like this guy. I love how he looks. Um, pretty good design. Pretty good eh, articulation. Um, but he is, he is what he is, but I love the skulls, I love the way he looks, I love all the skulls over him, he's got like a total of three, I think if you put any skulls on action figure, on any action figure, they look awesome, he's got a total of one, two right there, I wish this one was painted gold, might have to do some custom work, um, and then he's got a third one right there at his leg, but awesome, awesome figure, I'm gonna be generous, I'm gonna give this like a 7.5 out of 10, Really cool action figure, man. I'm really loving these Warhammer figures. Definitely going to be picking up some more. And I'm really pleased with these figures. Awesome, guy. Awesome, awesome figure, guys. If you had this, let me know in the comment section. We'll go ahead and leave it at that. Let me know what you make of this awesome piece, man. He is really cool. Really like him. I think he, he's going to be growing on me as time goes by. And uh, I'm glad to add him to my collection. All right, guys, I just want to thank you guys for watching in. I will catch you in the next review. Peace out.